My first guest tonight, executive producers and stars in the new series, The Flight Attendant, which premieres Thanksgiving Day on HBO Max. Here is Kelly Cuoco. Oh, wow. Hey guys. Like, it's so good <laughs> to see you. It's so wild. <laughs> I know, my gosh. It's so weird. Hi, Jimmy. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I, I, I appreciate uh, this, and I'm psyched about The Flight Attendant. Thank you. Before the pandemic, though, you were filming, you were filming The Flight Attendant all over the world. Yes. Yes, it's quite an international show. We were in, uh, before the pandemic, obviously, we were in Thailand, and then we were in Rome for a while. So right before, in January of last year. You were telling me that in Italy, though, you actually felt, you felt like you were becoming more like your character. Uh, I... <laughs> you have to tell the story, because it's just like, it's awesome. So my character, Cassie, is kind of a hot mess, a fun hot mess, loves to drink, loves to party. So uh, one night in Rome, me and the cast decided to go out and be like, you know, one of the locals. So we were with a couple guys that lived in Rome and knew the town. So they brought us this amazing club, very small club. Again, locals, like no tourists. Um, the place was very small. You're packed like sardines. The music is like loud, bumping. I'm like, oh, I've never been to anything like this before. I walk in and my first thing that I clocked in this very small club were open candelabras. So like imagine, you know, like Beauty and the Beast like open flames. Right, okay, right? yeah. So sure. I'm like, wow, that's, and I clocked it. I'm like, that's gotta be, that's gotta be a little dangerous. So we walk in, I'm like, ah, ah more shots, whatever. Yeah, it's like, yeah, so we're, we're too concerned there. in America. Come on, let's be European, right. this is cool. Stop being so worried, Quoco. So I'm sitting there, I'm looking at my girlfriend, I'm sitting at the bar and I'm sitting at the, I'm sitting at a tall chair and there's uh, so many people. And all of a sudden my, my girlfriend, I see her eyes go big and I smell smoke. <laughs> and I, I look around and I'm like, do you smell that? And she goes, it, and I see her like motion that it's me. Out of nowhere, this man comes from behind me, which I still don't know that my hair is the one that's on fire. My hair is now caught on fire. This man comes, I think he's attacking me. And I, I, I go, oh my God, this man. And I start hearing in the club, people chanting, Fuoco, Fuoco, Fuoco. And I'm like, oh my God, not only is my hair on fire, everyone in this club is recognizing me. They're Quoco, 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 like, Quoco. Yeah, they're attacking yes. you. They're attacking me and I'm like, oh my God, like I'm too famous to be here. Like the narcissist in my brand, like yes. you guys, we have to go. And they're like, but there's fire. And they're trying to put the fire. And I'm like, guys, please, no pictures. And I'm yeah. hearing fire. And I'm like, I know I'm on fire. Like, oh, you know, we gotta go, we gotta go. <laughs> so finally I realized it's my hair. I'm thinking they're telling me I'm on fire. Like, hey baby, you're on, you know, you're on fire. I'm like, my hair had completely caught on fire. Uh -huh. This man who I thought was attacking me in a club in Rome was actually saving my life. So when we leave and me and my friends were all talking about it, can you believe that happened? Like, I can't believe I survived that. Like my hair was shooting tomorrow. So we're with a couple of Italian guys. They're like, yeah, you know, everyone was yelling fire in the club. And I was like, well, no, they were yelling Cuoco. And he goes, well, they were, they were yelling Fuoco, which means fire in Italian. And I was like, they weren't calling my name in the club. No one cares. <laughs> no one knew who I was. And I was convinced. I'm telling you one letter difference. Fuoco. And you're like, Fuoco. Well, they're attacking Fuoco. me. No paparazzi, like, ah, please. Yes, of course. We're hot. Please. We're hot. We're on fire. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he laughed for days because they were like, and they'd walk by a couple of guys that I worked with that were there were like, hey, Fuoco, like it became a joke on set. And they called me Fuoco and I was like, it was, it was pretty insane. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I'm, I'm happy you survived all that and thank that uh, man who saved you and saved. Uh... I, I, and I was so mad at him, but now, you know, at least I can announce that he saved me. I really thought he was attacking me, but yeah, he, uh, he saved my life and my hair and I owe him a lot. Uh, do you want to tell everyone what the flight attendant is about? Yes, it's about a boat captain. I'm kidding. It's about a, <laughs> it's a flight attendant is about a <laughs> stewardess who uh, lives her life internationally, named Cassie. She's kind of, like I said earlier, a hot mess, loves to drink, has a lot of issues, but she's a blast to be around. And, you know, she, um, she goes home with a passenger, very good-looking passenger, for her one night off in Bangkok in Thailand. And she wakes, they have a wild night. They, they get completely black out, the time of their life, and she wakes up next to his uh, dead body. And her life is just hell for the next eight episodes and trying to figure out who did this and, and exonerate herself and um, also learn. It gets pretty dark as the episodes go and kind of learning about herself and her past. I want to show a clip. Here is Kelly in The Flight Attendant on Thank HBO you. Max. Take a look at this. Where are you? Uh, I don't know. This 
This place is so pretty. Yeah, no, I okay, am. that's not an answer. Let's see. Bangkok. Oh, speaking of getting arrested in foreign countries, do not get arrested there. The laws are like Byzantine. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, how did you? How did you know that I'm in Bangkok? Oh, when we all um, took that girl's trip to Tulum, we turned on our um, find friend thing because like kidnapping, and um, yeah, you just never turned yours off. So, listen, you're not like actually in trouble or something, are you? No, I'm. Uh... Over in Thailand. More with Kelly when we come back. Stick around, everybody.